is super weird. This house is so quiet. And I hate talking to myself when I know that I'm gonna post it. Okay, so part of social distancing life, I'm just decided to randomly start doing makeup videos accompanied by little Moby, who's not used to running with me in the morning yet. So he's already knocked out for the day. Um, I've already done my skincare, so we're just gonna do something really, really natural that I would typically do day to day and start with basic tips and then maybe if this goes well, we'll do something that's a little bit more over the top. I don't know, we'll see. So what I do to start is the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Primer. It's just what I've been using recently. Um, I'll sometimes use the newer Urban Decay All Nighter Primer, um, but this one just gives me like a really nice soft natural glow. It does have a little bit of like an illumination to it. Um, and then I do slide this downward just because I have a little smidgen of texture on my face It'll just make sure that everything sits down The next thing I'm gonna do is play with my Fenty hydrating foundation um, I have the color 170 right now. It's a little dark, but we don't care I do work off the inner portion of my hand since it's a little bit warmer. It'll heat up the product so that way, um, again, it just lays nice and smooth. I start in the cheeks since that's where I have the most redness or will help with the most coverage. Um, and then again, you'll just see me gently pulling down. I didn't use a whole lot, so this is one pump um, and I already pulled like a quarter of it. That's enough for me to do my whole face. I even have like a couple extra little uh, blemishes right now. so later I will um, cover those with concealer but I just go in and do a gentle light bit of coverage because I don't really care because I'm not leaving the house so just a little smidgen of, of fun stuff the next thing that I'm gonna do is mix a little bit of the born this way sculpting concealer again I just work that on the inner portion of my hand like a little a little swipe and then NARS creamy radiant concealer in vanilla and then I take like two heaping spoonfuls of that concealer um, I'm gonna use a flat concealer brush to kind of mix them together um, it turns into more of like a creamier thicker texture when you like emulsify it in the air and then from here I just will lay it where I have a little bit of darkness that I like to hide so I can pretend that I sleep. And then I'll also just go and hit anywhere else where I have a little bit more redness. Um, so that's my fun dots right now. And it's so weird to consistently talk to myself when there again is like no one freaking here. That's weird. And then um, I'll reach for my beauty blender in just a second. And that's kind of how I blend everything out. Um, it's not wet, it's fine. And then I'll just do a little bit of the dabbing to blend. So with it not being wet, it will kind of soak up a little bit of excess product. From here, I like to use the Hourglass uh, Veil Powder. So it just is gonna lay everything nice and smooth. Um, to make sure my concealer lays well for me. I'm all about using the same brush to do everything. So this is actually a blush brush that I use like for blush and for setting just a little corner in my under eye. I only set where I don't want um, like my darkness to really show through just to prolong that wear a little bit. Since I'm drier, I don't really put powder all over my face. Um, unless it's a special occasion and then after that I'm gonna go in with Fenty bronzer and shady biz and then just using this around the perimeter of my hairline so you'll see that I kind of like press and then swipe away what that's gonna do is just lay the lightest little bit of color so it won't like smudge or create any skipping all those random like circle skip dots where you, like some color will lay more in one area than the other and then I'll go through and just build color by doing a little bit of like a 
one directional pull. And you can see how like the corner of my hairline is. is a little warmer. And then from here, I'll just hold my hair back, go from the top of my ear and pull the bronzer. Oh, I have to marry it together, but pull the bronzer through my cheek and do that on both sides. And you can kind of see like right where the light hits is right where you want your bronzer since it's where the sun naturally hits you. And then I like Nike swoop it onto my nose. And then I do the middle of my nose. And now we're bronzy. So this has taken my place of contouring recently because who's got the time for that? And I also just want to look a little bit more like the sun naturally did it. So I'll also take it down the sides of my neck just to add a little bit more warmth. And then now I'm going to use a Tarte blush. This is Harmony. Um, and I just use the same brush that I used for my powder. And then taking this, I start kind of like in the middle of my cheek, which I know is a really random place. And then I pull it backwards. That way there's more color back here so it looks softer towards the middle of my face. I just like how that blends out. There's so many millions of ways to differently like do blush. No way is like wrong. I'm sure there's like the right way and the wrong way to do things when you're like starting out. As long as you know like why you're doing it and like if you like it, do you boo boo. And then I even like will go back over my nose. That never lasts on me, so it looks crazy for a minute, but then it's gone. And then from there, I'm gonna do a highlighter. I think I'm gonna do this. Let's play with the Moon Child palette from Anastasia. This one. It's cute that the rainbow is on the camera. And then I'm gonna do the pink heart, which is like a soft pink. And then I just like am barely dusting this right on top of my cheekbone. You can see how I have like a little pearlescent pink tone. It'll probably catch up better on this side because this is the side my window's on. And I took it around my brow over there so I could probably do the same thing on my eyelid. And then I like to look pretty shiny, so I'll just go through the middle of my face. I don't like to make my chin look bigger, so I skip highlighting on my chin. Um, and then that's my face. So I'm gonna do brows next, and this is a brow definer by Anastasia. I use the color medium brown right now. Um, I switch it all the freaking time. And then I just brush up, and I'll use like this, my baseline first. And just kind of like tweak in by like wiggling it back and forth just to like structural structurally enhance um, like that baseline there and then I'll do the same thing at the back like third of my brow so I just pull down I don't really do back and forth and you can see like a total difference in shape just by following the line that's already there and then softly sweeping in where I'm a little bit more um, not, not so dense. dense. The beginning of my brows are like so full and thick um, and the tails of mine are a little bit lighter so then just by doing that like really just towards the back it creates something that looks a little bit more even and then I'll just like kind of brush that back out. So different. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. So again, I just start like right in the under baseline of my brow. Um, since my brows are like really different, um, this one gets shaded in a little bit more underneath. I pull it down just a smidge and then go just a little bit more forward as a starting point towards the top. I didn't like what I just did, so I literally just like erased it with my finger. And then I'm gonna go through and just brush up again. You can see I have like a chunk missing in the front. 
So just like do a little smidgen until it decides it wants to grow back in. I really hope it grows back in. I don't know what I did. This is like the hardest part of my brow is just trying to add like the right amount so I don't look crazy. Alright. And then I really like the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It adds like chamomile um, and hyaluronic acid to your brows so that way it keeps the look of brow hair. Like look at how fluffy we are. Hello fluff. And you can see I just pull it up. Sometimes I even will just like press it in there if like I like where they're hanging out at. Um, you know, that's, my, that's probably my favorite product that I use. And then I'll do shadow insurance from Too Faced, just some eyeshadow primer, keep eyeshadow on. We'll do a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, I typically like to do more like pinks and reds to make my eyes look more green. If you're trying to make your eyes look more blue, you do like warmer um, browns and oranges and then like brown eyes can do anything that they want to which is so dope so just to like get your, your eyes to like enhance color theory you do the opposite color of what your eye color is on the color wheel complementary color wise I don't know what I want to do yet so I'm gonna do um, I don't know maybe I won't do reds I've got two palettes out I've got the nude palette from Huda and then I have an old MAC palette. We'll do the Huda one. I feel like my blush is kind of pink so we'll just roll with it. Um, so I'm gonna go in, this is the nude one, and then we're gonna go in with Bare which is just like a nude color. It's literally just a little brighter than my um, skin tone. Just out because like in the palette it's so light. And when I put it on, I'm like, oh, it's literally half a shade different. Um, and basically how I do eyeshadow, depending on, like, the person, is, like, you have your brow bone, you have the area where, like, you're underneath your brow bone, which is your crease or, like, your transition area, and then you have your lid. So what I try to do is find um, and, like, balance out all three portions so that all three are about the same size. Pro tip. There's something fun for you to play with while we're all tucked in our house for a million years. And then I'm gonna use the color play, which is something like peachy-ish. And I'm going to just go in lightly first. And I start in the outer corner, I'll do like a little circle um, and then just pull inward. It looks like absolutely nothing in camera. And just to like start balancing that out. So you can see how there's like a little bit of definition. I also start backwards in a lot of people. So a lot of people will do their eyes first and then their face, so that's backwards. And then most people will work on the lid first and then the brow bone. There's no, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want to do. This is just what I decided to look store for me. And I figured while I'm not actually working and playing with makeup, We'll just play with makeup at home. It's gonna be so weird. I'm off until April 3rd, so it's like 17 days of being home. Like, what are we gonna do? Boom, something nice and light and pretty. And then I'm gonna find a flat brush. I just use, so Anastasia palettes come with like this double-sided brush. I use them all the time. They're just so, Oh, easy. And then I'm going to go in with lace. And so I'm actually going to use the fluffy side, I think. So that way I can just kind of subtly swoop it in. Instead of like laying a bunch of color. The more dense the brush, the more color that you'll lay. And I'm just giving like a bunch of tips. So if you already know, you already know. And this is also looking absolutely crazy right now since I've got a little bit of a warmer color mixed with the cooler color, which is kind of a no-no, but I actually kind of like it. And then I'm going to go in with blue, taze. Oh yeah, that 
last color I used was like this purpley one. And then T's is this darker purpley one. And then I'm just gonna marry the other two colors together with this T's color. And I'm just using the same brush, just kind of like building on it. And I'm doing like more circular motions and then pulling one way in. So if you pull back and forth a bunch of ways, your color could like go a little bit of everywhere. Um, so this just like make sure, make sure, makes sure that um, things go where I want it to. And then that's why I do like the the one pull, and then I do the circle just to like actually like lay the product so I can see it. And I don't have a lot of product on my brush, so realistically, like things are not gonna go all over the place for me. You can see I'm like not even at all. So then this brush is a little bit more of like a looser brush. It's what I did use to lay in the um, orangey one. Sorry, there was like a hair I could see that was trying to fall off of the brush, it's really old. And then what I do is I'll just take this and pull it one direction and mix whatever's left on this brush with that darker shade. So that way it gives you like more of that fade out appearance. Blended, fade out appearance, aka blended. We all know I'm not good at English, it's fine. And then I've been skipping eyeliner recently, so we're not doing it. Um, I am gonna use Blowout It Cosmetics mascara, I love it. And then how I apply mascara is typically I'm looking, so there's a mirror like right in front of the camera, and I look down into the mirror and then just lift my lashes and then because like if you're open you know you're gonna hit the the top and it just makes a mess and i have time for that so then i look literally down into the mirror and scoop and like pull up sometimes i'll even blink against it which you know sometimes you get mascara everywhere doing that too it's so much better so again looking down And just pulling up I just do like a lighter coat of mascara I don't need nothing crazy and then I just barely touch the outer corner with mascara I do like the longer looking of like bottom lashes I noticed with this mascara the more I blink um, it'll like transfer down onto my bottom lashes so I don't even really worry about it I'm also not gonna wear a bunch of lip stuff um, I do have Alex drawers next to me full of stuff, which is what I keep like dipping into. Um, but this is just a clear gloss that my grandma gave me. You have no idea. I've never really like seen this brand in my life. That was cute. Ta-da! So this is what we did. Just something normal. If there's anything that you want to learn or that you think I should do over the next 17 days, <laughs> so help me. <laughs> Bye.